A big boost coming to the West Valley. More than 2,000 new jobs on their way as a motor company announces plans to build a manufacturing plant in Buckeye. Governor Ducey touting this as a huge win for our state. ABC 15's Mike Pelton joins us live in Buckeye off Sun Valley Parkway where it's planned to be built. Mike, the city opening its arms to Nicola Motor Company. Yeah, and change will happen fast. The 500 acre plant coming to, well, you can see it's an awfully remote part of Buckeye, about 10 miles north of the I 10. The goal bring good paying jobs and a lot of growth. I am proud to announce that Nikola Motor Company is coming to Arizona. It's a company that builds hydrogen electric semi trucks, and they are driving a lot of excitement in Buckeye. This is the greatest thing that's happened to Buckeye since Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station was built in the 70s. The company plans to create more than 2,000 new jobs and build a 500 acre manufacturing plant in Buckeye. The city picked after a year long selection process, the company touting a variety of good paying jobs. I think there's an advantage uh, for us to come here and help those people out of poverty and help them into jobs where they can move from, you know, seven, eight dollars, uh, nine dollars, ten dollars an hour, whatever it may be, up to twenty, thirty, forty dollars an hour with just a couple years of training. The Buckeye mayor hopes this brings a boom to the West Valley. Eighty percent of our people leave in the morning going to the east now for jobs. We want them in Buckeye. They work and play where we live. The jobs are a necessity and you only can get a good paying job if you go into the cities. Kathy Folks lives just a few miles from the site of the new plant in a remote community and hopes the motor company delivers a lot of surrounding businesses. I know it's going to. It has to. They have to accommodate the workers, so that'll be great. A gas station, definitely need another Chevron over in this area, uh, fast food over in this area. So it doesn't look like much now, but the motor company plans to start building and hiring next year with the plant pumping out trucks in 2021. We're live in Buckeye tonight. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. Mike, thank you.